In this video, we're going to be looking at the four keys formula, how it affects the taste of your coffee and why it's critical in delivering third wave specialty coffee at home. There are many ways to make coffee and using an espresso machine is one of them. The first espresso machine was invented in 1884 and further refined in the 1900s. In its essence, the espresso machine uses pressurized hot water through finely ground coffee beans to create a liquid drink. As the process of making espresso has evolved over time, especially with greater emphasis on making it quickly, there has been a compromise on quality. This really is the reason why we've developed the four keys. Like professional machines in cafes, it provides a standard for us and ensures that we don't compromise on delivering quality coffee. We're looking to help coffee lovers replicate this at home so they can enjoy the taste and flavors of third wave specialty coffee in the comfort of their own space. Using freshly roasted coffee beans is crucial. You can't make stale coffee fresh again. That's why baristas in cafes usually receive a weekly order of beans, as well as grind to order, to get the very freshest flavors. One tip is to always look for the roast date, not a used by or a best before date on the coffee pack. Ideally, whether at a cafe or at home, people should be aiming to use their coffee within five to 30 days from the roast date. Fresh beans will be rich with oils and generally result in a thicker crema to your espresso. Another tip is to buy lower quantities of coffee more regularly. Say enough for one to two weeks, so you don't have the coffee sitting in your cupboard for months on end. Final tip for beans is about storage. We recommend your beans be stored in a cool, dry, dark environment to prevent them from drying out prematurely. Like professional machines, we follow the four keys formula. All of our machines have been designed and engineered to create the same great tasting coffee that you would expect from your local cafe. Key one is the ideal dose, which means having a dose between 18 to 22 grams. Being able to get this amount of freshly ground coffee into your portafilter means that we are able to extract a full bodied coffee with rich and complex flavors. Our Oracle and Dual Boiler series of machines uses a 58 millimeter portafilter that can hold 18 to 22 grams whilst our Barista and Bambino series of machines use a 54 mm portafilter capable of holding up to 19 grams. As I said, the first key for any given coffee is keeping that dose consistent. Once you've ground your fresh coffee into your portafilter like this, distribute the ground coffee evenly and tamp it using a consistent pressure like this. Attaining the ideal dose consistently is the first step in being able to achieve full-bodied coffee with a rich and complex flavors. Key two of the four key formula is optimal pressure. This results in an irresistible body delivered through a low pressure pre-infusion followed by a nine bar extraction. Each shot starts off with a low three bar pressure pre-infusion similar to professional machines. This will evenly soak and expand the coffee grounds for the first seven seconds. The reason for this is to stop the water channeling or drilling through or around the grounds, where excess water passes through the path of least resistance and does not use all the ground coffee in your portafilter. After the seven second mark, pre-infusion ends and the machine will rise to nine bars of pressure if you have the right grind, dose and consistent tamping pressure. Our machine uses a 15 bar Italian pump to produce the optimal nine bars of pressure needed to extract an opulent, creamy and caramel colored espresso. The third key is focused on precise brew temperature to deliver perfectly balanced taste. For a precise and consistent brew, the water temperature you extract the shot should be a consistent 93 degrees Celsius or 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Extracting at a higher temperature could result in a burnt, bitter and astringent shot, or lower temperature could result in a sour and acidic taste. With PID digital temperature control, our machines have precise control over the temperatures to ensure a consistent extraction temperature every time a coffee is made. That brings us to the last of the four keys, sufficient steam pressure, and temperature to generate true microphone milk. So for our machines that have a boiler, 
they are set to 130 degrees Celsius or 266 degrees Fahrenheit, combining powerful steam pressure at a precise temperature, which allows us to introduce the right amount of air to sufficiently stretch and texture the milk. So it's not just blowing bubbles around, it's creating the right kind of bubbles, called microfoam, by allowing enough time to work with the proteins in the milk. The aim is to create a silky, velvety mouthfeel. To find out more, take a look at our microfoam milk tutorial. Making a great tasting coffee at home comes down to following the same principles as the professionals. The ideal dose, optimal pressure, precise temperature, powerful steam, these are the four keys to delivering third wave specialty coffee at home.